we've tackled every three-year-old group kind of together and and uh, you know and every year I've tried to take uh, from other programs and and um, the and anytime you're changing something in your program sometimes you're going to change it for the better sometimes you're going to change it for the worst and um, and uh, but uh, I think that's just necessary you know growing pains you know that that you have to do but uh, touching on Erica's point uh, what one thing we say to each other a lot is if something's working then uh, we don't need to change it until it quits working you know and and to and uh, always you know I'd say for anyone training horses always make sure we diagnose the problem correctly before we change anything you know watch your video decide you know was this did the run not work out because it was a horse training mistake? Did it not work out because it was a horse preparation mistake? Is it uh, uh, a showmanship mistake? And and make sure you're thinking of you know every aspect of the game, yeah. you know um, because uh, uh, it, oftentimes when you're dealing with animals, it can be hard to see what the true problem is, and we can chase pretend problems. And we yeah. can get up very early in the morning and work very hard to progress nothing, yeah. you know. And uh, I remember Lee telling me early on in my program, I would, I would show up to a show, all my horses, let's say, long left. All right, show doesn't go very well. I'm like, Lee, what should I do? What's my homework? He's like, shorten them to the left. Come to the next show, sh too short left, long right. You know, and, and I remember Lee sitting me down one day and saying, I really wish you would go home and just fix the problem instead of this constant overcorrect. Pretend you're backing up a trailer. You know, it's no good if you're headed too far left to go too far right. It does you no, no more good, you know. And uh, I really thought that, you know, that was really important, you know, because then I started thinking of cutting like shuffleboard. It's a feel thing and it's just enough everything's just enough and uh, kind of going back to horses that taught you something like I think back to Sink I'm Hot's finals at Paturity was you know one of the best runs of my life and 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 but definitely an example of just because you know you can doesn't mean you should or there is such thing as too much you know and I think in that run uh, you know I, I, I the penalties I incur are astronomical you know, um, it was really cool what was happening, but it's, it's uh, less Mike could have won, you know, yes. um, but that much couldn't win, you know, and, uh, and so that's been really a journey for me, uh, and, you know, I think it's hard for a lot of horse trainers because uh, cutting's not a game of teach them the task and then that's perfect you know, uh, done, complete. It's, it's not that kind of game. It's like, um, should I have them hooked to the cow or listening to me? Well, the answer is a little both. You know, it's a game of a little of both, yeah. you know? So should I have them crawling around a lot? Or should I have them being very careful and slow? Well, the answer is a bit of both, you know? And uh, should they stop real hard? Well, a bit of both, you know? They should kind of stop hard, but they should also kind of get stopped so you don't you know have a big miss and and so uh i guess that's what's so addicting of the game is it's it, you, if you if you can teach a horse to stop big or you can teach a horse to crawl around neither thing's good enough yeah it's not good enough to just stop big it's not good enough to crawl around it's not good enough to you know they've got to they've got to do it all really well a little bit yes. you know and finding that in each mm -hmm. different horse in each different horse and then uh and uh yeah so that's that's the wonderful part of our sport yes for sure and you really work on the mind game aspect too don't you mm -hmm. together how, oh, well. how do you do that well uh so so for me for me uh cutting's a lot like golf and and i, I when you when you get to helping the bigger time guys and and getting to be in their corner it, it's it, it really tells you a lot about the game, you know, and you're sitting in the cow box and you're, you're, you're accidentally seeing their mental process for 45 minutes before they go and compete. And, and, um, I, 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 I believe that, and I, I read this every morning, I wrote it on my phone and, 
anytime I'm nervous, I'll read it again. And, and it's just basically, I YouTubed a bunch of videos on uh, mental coaching and, and listened to them and, uh, and kind of came up with my own little mental process that's, that's my job. And, and what and, does it consist of? What are the kind of the basics to it? Uh, so, so the the basics are uh, is is that I have to trust the mental process. That's the first rule. And just like people, you'll hear people say, "Trust your training." They're trying to get you to quit worrying about horse training, worry about showing. And and so what I try to think if I'm going to show ten horses that day, I'm tr going to trust my process all day. I'm going to I'm going to execute the steps, and then. And then if I do that all day, don't care about the outcome, I will be very pleased with the outcome uh, because the steps are what you need to accomplish to have a successful run. So uh, the, when I'm walking down to get on my dry work, I'm to breathe slowly, calmly. Uh, remember that this is just another horse and it's just another run and that I will, there's no sense it, I'm glad I'm nervous because it means I care, but there's no sense in letting nerves decrease my performance. And so I just let go of it, everything, and I try to tell myself that I'm going to perform with my subconscious mind, which means I'm just going to let muscle memory do the work for me, <clears throat> dry work my horse, tell my guys the cows, and, and then I tell myself right before I walk down there that this is my